Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Steve here, and this is a culmination of how well my filters are doing based on Devon Coy. Thanks for his videos and his input, and poor James the Coy Whisperer, who's really suffering, and we are feeling for you, mate. Stick in there. I know you're not a big fan of Easy Pods and you've clearly stated why on your videos but I've got a manual easy pod and I always wondered how well it can filter and why my water is always seems to have a haze to it it's never crystal clear I just can't seem to get that right is it because I've got no cover over it is it because I'm not filtering the fines out so I took a leaf out of Devon Coy's book I thought if I were to get a shower and put some wadding inside I'll be able to monitor how much crap that the easy pod is releasing and the shower is picking up and lo and behold I hope you can see that because it's quite sunny at the moment that is the amount of crud that it's, it's releasing now this shower is by no means activated as, as well as the bacteria is concerned that'll probably be two or three weeks before anything like that happens but already I'm seeing a vast improvement in the clarity of the water and despite my previous videos about future plans and making it deeper as discussed due to the money situation it can happen but I've got some wood being delivered on Monday and I'm going to build a pergola over the top and a fine mesh cover which will allow rain to fall through but keep away direct sunlight, fingers crossed. So on top of the wadding inside the shower and the fact that the Easy Pod seems to be doing its job up to a point, I'll see if I see some uh, more improvement but up to now I'm seeing some improvement, so thanks to Devon Coy, and again, James the Coy Whisperer, keep going mate, you know, we're all behind you, we want to see some good results, and you need two or three days where everything's going right, and just doesn't seem to be falling apart, because I think you're, you've had your share of bad luck now mate, so, fingers crossed for you, and we'll catch you on the next one.